Hey, what's going on, Game Weepers? This is Eggs, and in today's video, 15 most broken champions for patch 12 18. And this is the world's patch as well. So, to know who the best champs are going to be, make sure you stick around for the whole video. Any questions, any thoughts about the champions, let us know in the comment section. And of course, guys, if you want to master any of these picks, make sure you check out the Game Weep website, description, comment section. You know the drill by now. Because our challenge of players and coaches, daily videos. These are for our subscribers who sign up to the website for our library of content. And that library includes champion courses, champion guides, VON analyses, videos on micro, macro, everything thing you need to know about the game at the highest level we have the content for you so check out those links and let's get into the top 15. Now for this countdown guys we're not actually going to go from like 15 to 1 maybe you guys in the comment section can make up your own countdown so you can actually list who you think the most broken champions are going to be I'm just going to list 15 champions and these will include champions from every single role of who is probably going to be super busted so why don't we start on the top lane and talk about Aatrox and there isn't really much to talk about here because when I mention Aatrox you should immediately think about Eclipse this combination is still one of the most powerful on the rift and because none of these so aatrox eclipse they're not getting nerfed in 12 18. now in some games you might want to go gore drinker so if the enemy team has lots of melee close range champions obviously gore drinker is active it will have a lot of value but most of the time eclipse the lethality especially when you run ignite on aatrox it's a super deadly combo that's why he's got to be on this countdown now ahead of aatrox if you still want to dominate the laning phase well maybe the next best champion is darius who has been killing it ever since the durability meta came about right so from 12 10 onwards and because darius hasn't really been touch nor his items he's in a great position again but a bit like aatrox just be aware of your mythic in most games you probably want to go triforce especially if you're snowballing right because you're going to end the game a lot quicker but let's just say you're against a lot of range champions or champions that might be able to kite you because their movement speed then stride breaker becomes really really useful because you can actually slow them and stick to them this is obviously why you want to be running ghost with your flash so darius is another top laner and the last top laner to consider another lane dominant champion this is set and for set because of the bus last patch so to your face breaker and also to the amount of ad you'll be dealing with your w this has really helped him out and i'm not sure if he actually needed help in the majority of elos anyway because he does perform very very well so they've made his laning phase a lot stronger because of the 70 percent slow now in your face breaker so your e not only is it great for you in a 1v1 but also when your jungler ganks because of the extra cc the enemy champion is not going to be able to escape as easily as before so it's very very easy to kill champions now with just one point in your e and because of the scaling you've now I got with that w buff it just makes set a very powerful champion in the top lane and a very good pick in 12 18 as well because nothing is getting changed for it now moving to the mid lane we have three champions here so the first of these if you want to play an attack damage mid laner then zed is your best bet ever since zed got buffed so the actual e energy cost going down by 10 and scorch getting buffed as well because you are such a big abuser of scorch that getting buffed just makes your combos especially during the laning phase more potent and because of the sustain changes as well if we think about it zed when he starts longsword and three health pots actually out sustains everyone because he has three health pots like who else is getting that yes you might have corrupting but you won't be healing as much and even if you start with two health pots and a d-ring or maybe a refill dark seal zed still out sustains you so you have to be very very careful when trading with him and that's why the champ is so busted now if you want to play a magic damage mid laner then how about vex this champion ever since riot buffed oq of course the actual ap ratio in it and the cooldown so at level nine at rank five five points in your q for it to be on a four second cooldown for an ability that is so spammable does a great amount of damage and also procs your doom and gloom your passive the fear it is deadly vex as well because she has well kind of roaming potential with her ultimate but vex is another mid laner alongside zed who are the most broken and one more mid laner you guys should probably consider picking in 12 18 is cassidy because of the bust from last patch to your q so the cooldown has gone down and also the mana cost this means that cassidy is laning phase well it's just easier to navigate out of because your q will give you a shield as well especially against ab champions just makes it easier right and because of the sustained nurse in 12 14 but it's a little bit harder to get out of the laning phase and actually survive these recent buffs help cassidy achieve that so you can get your mythic spike you can get your major item size you can get to level 16 and then the game is all but over now heading to the jungle guys we've got two champions and i purposefully left out master Yi and belvef because i'm sick of talking about those champions so they could well be on this countdown but the two junglers on this countdown the first of these is fiddle six so if you want an ap champion in the jungle fiddle six very very difficult to beat you could maybe think about picking something like diana very strong as well with nash's tooth and sunfire but fiddle six another amazing champion because of the coast storm buffs and your q's fair duration buff a few patches ago fiddle six has been loving life and that's the same for udir as well but udir is getting changed in 12 18 so at the moment right lots of udir players are maxing their ultimate first and going like sunfire rages demonic embrace pretty obnoxious build but it is op but right are changing udir a little bit so they're going to try to encourage you to max your q first and for jungle udir i still think this is going to be very very 
very strong indeed. You'll still have amazing clear speed, dueling potential. You beat so many melee junglers who are going to be picked most of the time. So watch out for the deer in 1218 as well. Now heading to the bot lane, we have four AD carries who are on the top 15 champions countdown. This has not happened for a while, so I think we should all start celebrating. Now the first of these, who I think is probably going to be the strongest and most picked of worlds, this is Caitlyn. Because Misfortune is getting nerfed, and by the way, Misfortune is another AD carry on this countdown, so your attack damage growth is going down and your HP growth is going down as well. So in the mid to late game, you'll have less attack damage and you'll have less HP. So this affects your scaling as Misfortune, of course, but she'll still be very strong. And yes, Caitlyn, because of these Misfortune nerfs, is going to be the standout. She's already performed so well because of the headshot buffs a few patches ago and because of the sustain nurse right it really makes poke based ad carries and supports so caitlin karma caitlin lux caitlin maybe something like a Zeraf. anyone who can really abuse scorch and just poke the enemy bot lane to oblivion they just become more valuable because of the meta shifts so caitlin i'm anticipating to be the number one ad carry and misfortune will be another strong ad carry and the other two one of these is draven so draven because lots of ad carries around him have been nerfed and even though draven's q's base damage got nerfed a few patches ago has already changed the fact that draven is still a very strong ADC, especially during the laning phase, right? Who can actually compete with this guy? Maybe Misfortune is very strong because you can just slow the Draven with your E. Very hard for a Draven player to avoid your bullet time at that point. So maybe if you are a Draven one-trick pony, make sure to keep banning Misfortune. But apart from that, like every lane is probably going to be free. Caitlyn might be a little bit difficult, but I still think no one is strong enough to compete with a good Draven player. So he has to be in the video as well. And the final AD carry, guys, if you do want to counter pretty much any AD carry in the game, then Samira is the champion to pick. Because of the extra scaling right gave you way back at the start of the season, so they gave you attack damage per level, and they also gave your Q more attack damage in this. And remember, because you're building lifesteal in the form of shield bow, your Q dealing more damage, and your auto attacks, you're going to lifesteal more. And of course, through your abilities as well, this is super nice for Samira. It means there's less pressure on you to actually stomp during the laning phase, which is what it was before. You have to start the snowball going, otherwise you will lose. Not the case anymore. But because of your scaling, you can match it with the best of them in the mid to late game, even if you don't get going in the early game. So she is the final lady carry to consider now the three supports guys we're going to start with the best enchantress in 1218 this being janna no nurse nothing's changing she's still going to be broken i don't think anyone can really contest this because across the board in every single elo janna is killing it but let's just say you want to counter janna or one of those enchantresses then a mumu the green cube is going to be the champion to pick now whether you're going aftershock into a melee support matchup so if you're against an alistair or a rel something like this right aftershock the value is going to be more important than glacial but if you're into a double range bot lane so you might be playing against Caitlyn Karma, right? Who we're going to see a lot of in 1218. Glacial, because you'll slow both of them. So, so good. And because of your instant gap closing and stickiness, because you get two bandage tosses, remember? So every couple of seconds, this just makes a Moomoo one of the deadliest supports in the game. And its win rates, even at the moment, are really proving that. And the final support, guys, to consider because of the changes to her recently, this is Zyra. So the fact that you're getting locked out of your E for less time, this has been amazing. And because of the bot lane meta, remember, I've been talking about how it's kind of shifting towards poke, towards champions like Caitlyn and Zyra is another one, right? Because if you're running something like Scorch, the Leandri's tick damage once you get that, and because you're locked out of your E for less time, this means you can land more damage after your E lands. You can escape those ganks more often because you're not locked in place as long. So Zyra is the final support to consider if you want to really just stomp the landing phase. So those were the 15 most broken champions, guys, for 1218. Again, any thoughts, any comments, leave them down below. Please like the video if you did enjoy it, and I'll see you in our next season 12 upload. This has been a... Peace.